Welcome back to the channel guys, hope everybody is doing well. Today I'm going to be doing some mesh core testing. So I've got my T-deck here, I'm going to be heading to a place called Deacon Hill, which is sort of around the kind of Letchworth area, and it's about 170 metres up, so it's not a huge hill, um, but it's it's quite a good one. So we're going to see what we can pick up from up there with just literally the T-deck. I've got some other bits and pieces in the bag, but what I'm going to show you is how easy it is just to grab a T-deck and get on, especially if you're in a quite a higher place. So I've got the little one with me today who's very sleepy. This is Piper, so she's about six months old now, so she's a little Pomeranian, but she is full of beans. She absolutely loves it. She doesn't look like it now, but she's going to be well up for coming on a, a bit of a, a hike up a hill. <laughs> All right, we need to grab some fuel. I just heard the T-deck ping. There's a couple of messages coming. So you wonder where they came from. I'm just going to check that because you can do that by just hitting to the right of this message now. So, see a lot of these are showing question marks now because I've kind of removed them from the um, discovery list because it was just getting out of control. But yeah, so you can see the see the path there. Still messages coming in, which is quite interesting. Hello. <laughs> Waking up now. Okay, we're here. Time to wake up. So, interestingly, I haven't actually received any messages lately on this T deck here. Um, I thought there'd probably be some coverage around it, but um, I don't know, maybe not. We'll have to go to the top of the hill. Um, one thing I could try though, quickly. So, I've got one of these. This is a little Bing Fu antenna off of Amazon. I've got to say, I'm quite impressed with how these work, considering they've got like pretty thin coax. Um, unfortunately, there's not enough coax still to reach the front of the car, but um, what I'm going to do is just whack this on here and just see if we can um, see if we get any repeats on this. Okay, all right. I know you've seen the sheep. Just going to send that out quickly. Right, so there's no repeats. Right, dog's getting restless. Let's go up the hill. This is what she's seen that she's interested in. paradise all of this poo <laughs> right we're at the top look at this such a nice view so this is like this is Bedfordshire actually not so it's Hertfordshire but it kind of looks on it's kind of on the on the border I think let's see what we can uh, see what we can get on the mesh well I've just received a repeater from Bethnal Green <laughs> which is in London so that's a, a long way away um, and so I'm just going to go to public and just, just shout out in there. So there's a hi from Deacon Hill. This will be the interesting one. See how many repeats we get back from, from that. One, two. Uh, are we going to get any more than two? Doesn't look like it. I thought we'd get more actually, to be honest. But let's have a look. 69 and D7. Right, we've got a hi Andy. Oh, it's Brian. That's not bad. Three hops over here. So what were they then? Let's just see what they are. Brian's one, obviously. 91 and 69. I think 91 is DD top. Yeah, it was DD top. I'm just going to say back to Brian. Um, hi, Brian. Three hops. So... Let's do that because I've got one and you got one hand. Um, three hops, hose, no hops. So it looks like there's two repeats from up here. I might switch up the aerial on this one, the antenna, because this is a bit small. So I might try that and just see if it's any better. All right, different antenna on. <laughs> Let's try this one. Got three hops that time D791B7. Let's just see if I can log into my home repeater from here, that would be quite fun. Um, so I'm just going to reset the path to um, so that it finds a new path. Let's try logging in and see what happens, see what path it finds. <laughs> Three hops, that's pretty interesting. Uh, whilst we're here, I can show you um, the new some new features we've got on here, um, This which will be coming soon on here. I don't know if any of you know that you can do canned messages on here. 
um, by just tapping on to the left of this little keyboard icon here. So if you tap on that, apologies, the you know you can't really see it, it's not that bright. But if you're in the repeater menu now, if you're logged into a repeater, you can actually see you get the canned messages actually changed to repeater commands. So it's quite good. So you can actually kind of you know do your do your stuff with that. So that's a useful thing to know there. She's all right, she's eating her biscuits, which is good. Rather that than poo. So let's just check what that path actually is. B737A, so that is, I don't know what B7 is around here. 37's Epping, so I'm, I'm kind of remembering all these, these IDs now. And 7A is my Yagi, so that's pretty mad. It's only like three hops. B7. What's B7 then? B7, I'm pr it might be DDRC. See, the thing with, with um, this now is because there's like lots of, because um, there's lots of repeaters with the same one by ID, then you sort of end up, the names are pretty meaningless. So you're just kind of going by, yeah, the names are pretty meaningless. You just kind of have to go by the um, uh, one by ID. Eventually we'll, we'll have longer by IDs, but it's, it's a bit more complicated than just changing that so uh here we go Olney and Wolverton interesting so I'm just gonna say hi Yano back hi Yano back up there it's so cool guys it's it's such a cool hobby this you know just just like radio on steroids <laughs> I just think text messaging over radio is just a, a, a complete win because there's always going to be someone around and they can easily text back whereas on the radio people just don't tend to talk they just listen most of most of the time a bit like me really i mostly listen on the airwaves but there you go yeah interesting still up here getting a bit cold now but yeah just having a chat just literally just having a chat on public with with the meshcore crew it's just such a good community it's just like cb radio really like back in the old days but just as i say just on uh, with text message so you know i'm just up here enjoying the outside outdoor life with the dog just texting um like-minded people it's brilliant i could do i could do some detailed path analysis but you know what i can't be bothered i'm just gonna enjoy it up here and then um yeah i think i'll just head back down in a minute and we'll go and go and grab a coffee and some lunch or something i think what do you reckon on the way back now this dog loves mcdonald's <laughs> um, and she shouldn't really have it it's not very good for her but she can have a bit of chip though there you go come on i'm just gonna lick the salt off it it's all that poo you've eaten 